Hi guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make gluten-free maple pecan blondies. Now, do not be alarmed. When you're going to watch this video, the first ingredient is probably going to like scare you half to death, but I promise you, you cannot taste it. These are actually super healthy blondies. They're super high in protein, they are gluten-free, and they're super easy to make vegan as well if you're a vegan. But I promise these taste delicious. They don't taste healthy. They're so, so good, so you should definitely try them out. So anyway, let's get started. Into a blender or a food processor, add 15 ounces of rinsed white beans. Add a fourth a cup of applesauce, and then add a fourth a cup of gluten-free oats. Finally, add four tablespoons of butter or coconut oil if you want this to be vegan. You're just going to puree this for about a minute until it's smooth. It's okay if there's still a few chunks, we'll be blending it again. So add two scoops, which is about a third of a cup of vanilla protein powder, add a tablespoon of sugar, and a teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Also add a fourth a cup of brown sugar and a tablespoon of maple extract. And again, you're going to puree this for another minute to a minute and a half. Now you're going to add maple chips. I actually found these at Walmart and I've never seen them before and they taste really good. So add about a fourth a cup of that and then just mix that all together. And this is completely optional, but add a fourth a cup of crushed pecans. And if you add the pecans, these bars end up kind of tasting like pecan pie. So I really suggest that you add them. Now you're just going to add these to a sprayed 9x9 nine nine baking dish. And just spread these out as evenly as you can because they're not going to rise too much in the oven. And then, of course, this is also optional, but I just sprinkled a few more maple chips on top. And then you're going to bake this at 325 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. Then once you bring these out of the oven, let them cool a full two hours before cutting them or else they will not set up. I highly suggest you guys make these because these are super delicious and they're super just Christmassy and kind of in the holiday spirit. ever made these blondies I actually made them for my family and I just told them they were just regular blondies and after they ate them that was when I told them that there was white beans in them and they were all like so shocked they could not tell so the second time I made these I actually had friends over and I let them eat them and then I told them what was in them and again they were so shocked they were like I couldn't even taste it these just tasted like everyday blondies you would not think in a million years that there was beans in them or that they were high in protein or that they were even like remotely healthy you should definitely try this recipe out. It's super delicious. It's a really great recipe to do for the holidays, to be in your holiday gatherings or to have with your Christmas breakfast. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I am super close to 900 subscribers, so if you would please subscribe to my channel down below and also give this video a thumbs up. That would help support my channel and help me reach my goal of 900 subscribers, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!